to see much. Others saw more, but it's all going to disappear. Yeah, on average, about two to six inches of snow fell, but we lost a lot of that snowpack yesterday with temperatures into the 40s and we will be close to 50 today. So continued melting, but with the temperatures below freezing, any of that uh, still puddles or damp conditions on sidewalks or roadways from the melting snow yesterday, having a chance to refreeze overnight, and that's allowed for a little bit of black ice. We are tracking some rain for later today. Notice the probability of precipitation going up to likely as we head into 7 and 9 o'clock this evening. No severe weather expected though today with our threat tracker in the green right through the middle of the week. I'm talking about uh, some rain showers in the days ahead this week for those that have uh, the week off. We'll time those out for you looking at our Newport Harbor camera this morning. Skies are dry. You're going to find that in Providence too. So you make it through your daytime without any weather related troubles. Again, coldest start of the week happening right now. 25 in Westerly Providence at 25. We're in the teens in Springfield, Boston, close to 30 and the temperature in New Bedford at 23. The warm air we're forecasting for Tuesday and Wednesday currently down across the central and southern part of the United States and right where this boundary is between the colder air and the warmer air is our front and that's where some showers are located as that warm front marches north and eastward. The clouds and the showers will march with it. So future cast keeping us dry with high pressure in control for most of the daytime, starting off with plenty of sun, but giving way to clouds. This is at two o'clock in the afternoon. Leading edge of showers moving in late in the day, five o'clock in the evening. You can see those pushing across New England and going to continue to see the shower threat through about uh, midnight, 1 a.m. by tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Cloudy skies, some areas of fog possible. Notice the breaks in the clouds and those will start to see them in southern New England too. notice the clouds though lingering along the coastline. So we may not see a whole lot of sunshine, especially near the shore on Tuesday and Wednesday, and the temperatures will be chilly as well. Commuting into work this morning, 20s. The afternoon though, it's a nice recovery, comfortable day. Upper 40s in Wickford, Hope Valley 49. Normal high is right around 40 degrees. So we're well above that in East Providence at 49 degrees. Johnston at 48. Seekonk close to 50. New Bedford and Fall River both in the upper 40s clouding up with those showers in the evening. Temperatures staying mild will be between the lower and mid 40s for our overnight lows under those cloudy skies. So 43 degrees when you wake up tomorrow morning, but then the temperatures climbing up close to 60 in the afternoon will be at 59 degrees at two o'clock, partly to mostly cloudy skies during the day. Some fog returning Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Highs Wednesday afternoon 63. That's that would tie the record from 1930. Notice the temperature contrast though at the coastline will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Inland spots is where we are expecting to see those temperatures into the 60s. And if you're trying to pick a day to head uh, north, maybe towards Boston, they'll be close to 70 on Wednesday afternoon. It'll be breezy. Southwest winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Cooler on Thursday. Some showers possible Wednesday night as that cooler air moves in. Friday, a little bit unsettled in the middle 40s. And the weekend looks a bit unsettled, but also milder too. Back into the 50s with a chance for some rain showers Saturday night and Sunday. Full future cast.